So, go into the brand to feed. I'm going to put my new bugs on because I wear my bugs to the barn. Because they're the best boots ever for the barn. Warm, slide right into them. Got to go feed my critters. Marguerite, Nova Scotia. And everything's a mess because it's Christmas. And I have other priorities. Peaceful place to live. Beautiful place to have animals. And no Trump. Because this is in Canada. So I'm going to go in and feed this morning. These critters have been out all night. And they love that. This is our old family barn. And I'm going to go over here and grab a bale of hay, hopefully, with the camera in one hand. Amateur videos, you know. And I'm going to see if I can find something in here. Because these were loose bales that we didn't have enough tightness on or string to put up in the mouth safely without them falling apart. So I'm going to see what I can get out of here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Ugh. Here we go. I might be able to make it with this one. This is uh, the easiest place to keep my critters, and I think they're happy out here. No, I know they're happy out here. When I leave them, leave it, let them out here, they love it. Now this bale isn't going to make it. So we're going to probably just drop it right here. <laughs> and shut this so the little one, my little two-year-old, can't get in the barn. Because she loves to go in there and explore around because she's just that kind of horse. There we go, guys. Come eat your breakfast. Good job. Hi, Nugget. Ground's kind of frozen today. Not a lot of snow yet, but apparently we're supposed to get a bunch tonight. There's Nugget. Hi, baby girl. You still got shavings in your head. Hey, baby girl. This is my girl, and this is Royal. Hi, Royal. Hey, sweetheart. Good boy. Yeah. My two critters. She's two. Actually, she just turned three. And Royal is ten. Just turned eleven, I believe. Have to check his papers. Anyway, this is the best place to stay away from the rest of the world with your critters. And they're very important to me. So, that's the, the burn feeding. That's it. Because they have this down back. They can go in. And they have that fresh water running through for a little bit. Or I have heated buckets by the barn door. So no big deal. No work. In the spring, I'll scrape this all up with the tractor and throw it into the manure pile over there which is quite low right now because we took it all to the fields. There's Royal and Nugget, my special critters. They do get grain too on a regular basis, but they, they get that back at the other barn, the big arena back there on the property that's run by our club, our local club here. And all of these places, Trump can't get you. Now I'm gonna go back to the old the arena. Oh, what a bun bouncy way to try and take a video. Amateur video, guys, amateur video. And that's my seatbelt ringer going off because I never put my seatbelt on coming back here from the old barn to the arena barn. And this is the club facility on the property, and it's a beautiful, beautiful coverall type building. And I'm gonna go in and just get see what's going on with the stalls, make sure everything's ready for them because later we're expecting some nasty weather and I'm not gonna leave those two kids outside. So I'm just gonna go in and check and see what's going on in here, make sure everything's ready for them to come in later, fluffed up, you know. And this is another place Trump can't get you. The world is peaceful. And you can rejuvenate your soul because the smell when you walk in the door is freaking awesome. And all these critters are here, peaceful, nice, 
friendly. I'm just gonna make sure Royal Stall is good to go. Yeah, kind of. I think I'm gonna put some more sawdust in here. This is a take care of yourself kind of barn. It's club run. They have feeders that will feed twice a day for you if you care to have that done or you can do it yourself. You would have to clean your own stall or pay someone yourself or arrange someone to do it for you. And this is nugget stall. So they're right beside each other, which is kind of nice. And I think I need a little more shavings in here too, because I want them to be really comfortable later when they come in in the storm that we're supposed to be getting. So I need to walk around the burn this way. We have a feed room. We have hay rooms, which you can't see in because the lights are off. And there's all the horses up this side. Out the back doors. And you go all the way up here. Like I said, very nice place to come in Marguerite, Nova Scotia. Hi, Corky. And there's Prize to enjoy some peaceful time away from life. Away from all the headaches of the COVID and the fear and stress of it all. And this is the indoor arena. It's on the, the end of, the whole facility is under one roof, but the indoor arena riding part is here on this end of it all some equipment and seating and it's on very very nice place to be in Nova Scotia where Trump can't get you